एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नोन टेक टीवी इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू विल लर्न अबाउट पीएलएसक्यूएल प्रोसीजर एंड आल्सो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ पीएलएसक्यूएल प्रोसीजर एंड हाउ टू कॉल इट विद प्रैक्टिकल एग्जांपल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट like a plsql function a plsql procedure is a named block that does a specific task so plsql procedure allows you to encapsulate complex business logic and reuse it in both database layer and application layer so this is a plsql procedure syntax let's examine the plsql syntax in more detail so we can divide the plsql procedure into two sections header and body so the section before uh, is keyword is called procedure header or procedure signature the elements in the procedures header are first is uh, schema it is the optional name of the schema that the procedure belongs to the default is the current user if you specify a different user the current user must have privileges to create a procedure in that schema and name is nothing but a name of the procedure the name of the procedure by convention should start with a verb for example put underscore line next is parameter it is optional and it contains list of parameters it is useful when you are creating procedure with a parameter so please refer to the plsql function video for more information on parameters with different modes in out and in out i have added video link on the upper right corner of your screen next is auth id this is also optional auth id basically determines whether the procedure will execute the privileges of the owner of the procedure or with the privileges of the current user specified by current user and everything after the is keyword is known as procedure body the procedure body has similar syntax with an anonymous block which consists of the declaration execution and exception sections so the declaration and exception sections are optional you must have uh, at least one executable statement in the uh, execution section the execution section is the uh, where you put the code to implement a given business logic to perform a specific task so now let's try some example of plsql procedure here i'm creating a procedure named uh, salary update so we'll update the salary information of employees in the emp table by using sql update statement so here the procedure update the salary of a particular employee in emp table by giving a percentage that is 0.25 and in the procedure body we use the update statement to update the salary information so here procedure created successfully let's take a look at how to call this procedure in various contexts a procedure can call other procedures so procedure without parameters can be called directly by using exec statement or execute statement followed by the name of the procedure like this and if we have procedure with parameter then we can call it like this so procedure with parameters can be called by using exec or execute statement followed by procedures name and its parameters in the order corresponding to the parameter list of the procedure now let's try to call salary update procedure so first let's check the emp table and values in the salary column so before calling the procedure this is the current salary column now let's call salary update procedure so procedure called successfully now let's again check the emp table so here we can see after calling procedure salary column updated successfully we can also call procedure without bracket if we don't have any parameter So that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos